Hello, everyone. Welcome to In the Neighborhood with your hosts, Tim Johnson and Stacy Borjo. Together, they are finding out what makes the heart of the Heartland Beat. They sit down with people in your community that lead organizations, businesses, and government. You'll learn who they are and what they're involved in and why. They are the people in your neighborhood. It's In the Neighborhood with Stacy Borgo and Tim Johnson. Good morning, everybody. This is Tim Johnson, and this is In the Neighborhood on PeoriaLife.com, all those different places that we are. We're just <laughs> wide casting today, let's just say that. Welcome, yeah. Stacy. Hi, Tim. How, How are, are you today? You? Good. Uh, since you're involved with this, why don't you introduce a little bit. Jeff for us? Yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> I have my friend Jeff Heft here with his helping hands to talk about... And, uh, now I just forgot. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Thank you. Ready, ready to roll. <laughs> forgot the ready part. Ready to roll Rants for Independence. And this is our fifth or sixth year. Sixth. Sixth year. So cool. R2R6. <laughs> That's another That's way to say it. That's easier than writing all of that stuff now. <laughs> oh, okay. But Ready to Roll Rants for Independence. And how did you come up with this? Well, we've been uh, building wheelchair ramps for, I don't know, 10 years or more for folks. And um, Advocates for Access, who's a partner in this, mm -hmm. their folks need ramps a lot. So I, I had met Janine McAllister over the years, and we got to talking and decided we ought to partner in this thing, and maybe we can help more people than the few that we're able to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then started it. So what are the requirements to have a ramp? Well, um, for this specific situation. For this situation, <laughs> um, low income, homeowner, and certainly a, a, a disability to where you're, <clears throat> pardon me, confined to a wheelchair or um, struggle with mobility. Sure. Need access to your home in and out. And how many have you guys done so far? Well, with in partnership with Advocates for Access, We've done 62. That's awesome. And then uh, hopefully we'll add 15 more this year. That's right. So give me a little bit of the idea behind <clears throat> His Helping Hands. Well, we started, uh, actually I started this in uh, the year 2000. Mm -hmm. um, I had the desire to serve the Lord and also to help folks. I've always liked helping people. And God gave me the vision for... Uh, his Helping Hands, which started out basically to be a handyman service for folks that couldn't afford it. And uh, it turned out that they asked, I was asked to build some wheelchair ramps occasionally. And as people found out that we do access for homes with ramps, the requests just started pouring in. And um, now that's one of the major things that we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you do also help renovate homes though, right? Yes. Uh, well, we do home repair, okay. uh, which, like I said, the handyman stuff, which could be uh, fixing a leaky faucet, uh, repairing a hole in a wall, you know, it just things like that, odds and ends, things that folks either don't know how to do, can't afford to hire someone to do, um, have no one around that, you know, is able to do that for them. And then uh, about five years ago, we started renovating houses we do about one a year, and the idea of that is similar to Habitat for Humanity, mm -hmm. where we take a house uh, that's donated to us uh, with volunteers and donated the materials. We repair that house and then uh, help someone become a first-time homeowner, uh, usually selling that house while we're selling that house under market value. And we've got a friendly banker that... Uh, helps them if, they, if they're struggling, getting qualified for a loan. Mm -hmm. um, she helps them uh, uh, to work on their credit and things so that, so that they can qualify for their loan. And, and uh, turns out really nice. This is our, I think we're working on our fifth one and I'm just about to turn that over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in doing more if you had enough people to help? Oh, yeah. I'd love to do more. The, the need so far outweighs our ability to help people. Um, I actually have wheelchair ramps. Even after these 15, we still have more need for that. And uh, with the home repairs, 
there's so much need and by myself I can't get out and do them all and I need to have people that are uh, experienced either plumbers, carpenters, painters, um, just trades people that can work independently. So imagine if I had three trades people working on different jobs as opposed to myself trying to go one, two, three to those. We can get a lot more done. Right. So if you're handy, uh, have some contracting skills, what do they do? Do they give you a call? Or? Yeah, they can give me a call. Um, at 309-256-1246. Um, if they just want to volunteer, like for our, our pre-build or for ready to roll, they call me at the same number. People that need help with mobility can get a hold of uh, Janine McAllister at Advocates for Access. Mm -hmm. That's 309-682-3500. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a website by chance? Yes, hishelpinghandsinc.org. Okay, and there are a few different helping hands in the area, so just add that his helping yeah. hands. Yeah, we do get a lot of, uh, I guess, free publicity from helping hands, <laughs> <laughs> but we also get a lot of phone calls that uh, yeah. they call and it's like, no, I'm sorry, we, we don't do that. You're thinking of helping hands. So, yes, his helping hands. Yeah, yeah. you're not uh, going to transport people to an employer. That's correct. <laughs> and we're both, not we're both not. really good organizations. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. They do a lot of good work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have the pre build coming up uh, for Ready to Roll Ramps for Independence. May 19th. May 19th. And that's going to be where? That's at um, what's located with ADA Total Access, which is 125 Thunderbird Lane. Okay. Uh, it's in uh, right off the frontage road by, what is that? Uftring Auto Mall. Uftring, yep. Uftring Auto Mall, In East yes. Peoria, mm -hmm. right. Yes. And that's going to be kind of an all-day event, right? At least, yeah, usually 9 to 3 or 4, depending okay. on the number of volunteers and the, the number of, well, just how much we can get done in that amount of time. That's right. So once a year you guys go and build, you're building 15 ramps this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that about how many you do every year, or? Well, the first four years, we, our goal was 10, which we, we met. Uh, last year, we wanted to do 15. Um, on that day, we were only able to do 13, and actually the problem was, was we didn't have enough team leaders. Hmm. We did finish the other ramps, but just not on that one day. Right. And this year, with the help of ADA Total Access and uh, using some aluminum ramps, I believe we'll be able to do that. And we've already finished one about a week ago. That an overachiever. He went out ahead of time. Well, it, it was just a repair, so. Yeah. I thought, well, and, you know, if it, when I went and looked at it, the ramp, I literally thought I was going to fall through it oh. when I was walking up the ramp to check it out. So it's like, we don't need to wait on this one. Let's just fix it. Yeah. Wow. Yep. So, and then the big ramp build day is Saturday, June 23rd. Correct. And we're looking for more volunteers. More volunteers. And I always take team leaders, uh, team leaders too. Mm -hmm. Need a lot of volunteers that day because if you figure we have 15 teams out and each team has, well, just if each team had six, that would be 90 people. Yeah. And some teams will have will need more than right. that. So yeah, we need a hundred or more volunteers. We may be sixty to seventy percent of that right now. So really need volunteers. And you don't have to be a carpenter or a professional handyman to do this. The team leaders are able to show you what they need you to do. It may be running a drill and screwing in um, mm -hmm. decking boards. Mm -hmm. It may be carrying decking boards to the person that's putting them in. So there's always something to do for anyone that wants to come. Right. Yeah, and you don't have to come all day either. You could come that's for correct. a couple hours and roll up your sleeves and help. And I know I enjoy it. I've been doing it since it started. Yeah, you you're awesome. <laughs> I can remember the first time you saying, yeah, they even let her use a saw. Or a something. miter saw. <laughs> Last year I got to use a miter saw, and my dad and I actually cut 8,000 pieces of wood <laughs> in preparation yeah. for the actual ramp pieces. Yeah, maybe something less than 8,000, but it yeah. probably seemed like that. Sounds good. Yeah, They I did like a 8, great 000. job, too. <laughs> Stacy's our saw 
girl. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they taught me though; it wasn't complicated, and it's you know. a lot of fun. There's there's so much good fellowship and camaraderie goes on, and we always meet new people and mm -hmm. um, s several of them, you know, become volunteers and get involved. And right. So. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to be there and work together and see when you start. Last year, we started with over 20,000 pounds of lumber. Mm -hmm. And in one day, we processed that into our ramps. So when you see what you start with, with your big pile of wood, and then when you're done, you've got all these wheelchair ramp sections sitting there. It's quite a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, it's so cool. Share some stories of the impacts that putting these ramps up has had on people's lives that receive the ramps. Well, there's uh, one lady that I know of. She could not get in and out of her house um, without someone actually coming and carrying her wheelchair up and down the steps. Mm -hmm. So imagine trying to get to doctor's appointments and going anywhere just to live a little more independently. Can't do that. We built the ramp, and then uh, she took off, and she was able to come up and down the ramp. There was a lady in uh, Princeville, hadn't been out of her house in years, and uh, Princeville has a, a town carnival every year, and we happened to be building, we built her ramp on the same weekend that town, town carnival was there. So as soon as the ramp was done, she went... <laughs> She went down it out of the house and headed uptown to the carnival. Aww. But it's just things like that that we take for granted. Absolutely. Um, you know, so um, getting in and out of the house, we just get up, walk out, and, and go. Don't think anything about you it. Know, but folks that folks that can't, they, they feel trapped. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, we don't even think about, you know, we think freedom, but the other side of it is if there's an emergency or a fire or something mm -hmm. like that. How do they get out? Right. It's it's pretty much impossible. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Get out or get away. Mm hmm So and yeah, it, that that's a, a good a good example because um, what do you do if you have a fire and you can't get down those four or five sets of stairs? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, wow. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Yeah. And, and right. as long as we're able, mm -hmm. you know, ramp by ramp, we'll prevent that. Yeah. So if you know of someone that needs a ramp, they should call you first. Well, I would have I would call have them call ADA or okay. Advocates for Access, mm -hmm. which is 309-682-3500. Ask for Janine. Okay. Um, if volunteers or, or team leaders can call me at 309-256-1246. Um, so on on uh, so I know on the pre-build day you don't do you need tools do you need to bring certain tools with you? Well, that's a good question. It's um, cordless drills, tape measures, pencils. Uh, I would say those those would be the main things. Okay. We have lots of tools and they will be uh, there provided. So if you don't have tools, it doesn't mean you can't come because <laughs> don't let it use it use it as an excuse. <laughs> oh, well, I'll go buy you something. If I <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, and the same thing for the the day of the build. Um, same types of tools: tape measure, pencil, cordless drill, all the saws and things like that. The team leaders will have or will have on site. So. Um, your warm bodies is, is the biggest thing that we need. Yeah. So if you guys know of somebody that's a contractor, a builder, somebody with some leadership skills and knows how to build, um, tag them right in the post on our, our Facebook page or YouTube, either one, um, and make sure that they get to know about this great thing that's happening in the Peoria area. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just really cool to be able to, um, especially those people that have the skills to do it. Um, for us, building and working on homes is kind of one of my love languages. Mm -hmm. It's one way that I speak to people with love, uh, love to do it. So, again, it might be the contractor's love language. Great way to come and, and spend uh, time and make a difference. I think the, the person that we, um, I built, one with our four was he never had access to his backyard 
and so and there was no way to make that access so we built a ramp to give him access so he and his family could go out in the backyard together yeah, and those are simple things that we just don't even think about but being able to enjoy you know your getting in your backyard with your family and be out there when they're having a barbecue or the kids are playing or something like that and that's just second nature to us but uh, these folks really really need that help and we're able to provide it but only with the help of a lot of volunteers and willing people I right. contractors are that is their love language Tim because otherwise they wouldn't be contractors probably you know mm -hmm. and um, they do a lot of work and I know that that almost everybody does a lot of good but this is one thing where we can help the community help individuals and help our organization to make a larger impact. Mm -hmm. So let's bring a lot of people together. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's a great social event, and you feel like you're you're accomplishing something because within that time frame, you have a done done ramp. I mean, complete. You know, yes. Mm -hmm. Already set. Mm -hmm. So you have we have a couple minutes left, but um, you're talking about um, aluminum ramps. You have the ability now to do some aluminum. Yes, um, <clears throat> ADA Total Access, uh, who was, they partnered with us for the first time last year. Well, they're so excited about what we're doing, they talked to their supplier, uh, their supplier uh, the, the organization that um, supplies aluminum ramps, and the supplier wants to help. So they've given us a huge, they're giving ADA a, a huge discount, probably 80, 85% just so that they can become involved. So this year, we it looks like we'll have five of these ramps will be made out of uh, this aluminum. And um, there again, it's, we'll have team leaders that know how to install them. So they'll, they'll be able to guide inexperienced people, which I'm an inexperienced person for building aluminum ramps, but uh, yeah. that, that'll be able to be done. And uh, so again, we're getting larger you know, larger uh, partnership mm -hmm. with it, with other teams, and who knows how far, how much we can do and how far we can do, especially with the Lord's help. So are you just in Peoria? We serve the Peoria, Tazewell, and Woodford County areas. Mm -hmm. So anyone in those counties, um, they're welcome to, if they need help, they should contact us or Advocates for Access uh, with home repairs, uh, also, but we'll we'll do our best to get out there and do as much for them as we can. That's right. Awesome. Just need more helping hands. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we have Saturday, May nineteenth, for the pre-build, yes. which is over by ADA Total Access, starting at nine. You said correct. Okay, and then we've got the ready to roll ramps for Independence Day, where we're going to build fourteen ramps. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. Well, you already pre-built. No, we're gonna. Uh, we're adding another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said you already went out, so I just want to make sure. Yeah. I'm trying to be honest here, Jeff. <laughs> so, but we're gonna be building ramps all over the Tri County area that day, and we need yep. volunteers. So, hopefully, you can come out and help us. Whether you have tools or not, we're okay with that. Right. Just come prepared with the open arms and a loving heart, and give us a few hours of your day, and it's gonna be awesome. Another great way that you can help out people in the Peoria area and make a difference. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for your time, Jeff. Oh, well, thanks for yours. I've enjoyed being here. You guys are easy to talk to. <laughs> it's always good to have you. Thank you. PeoriaLife.com.